Welcome back to SCLC Today. Wow, are we happy to have you and to bring about some informative information on what's taking place. So much is going on, ladies and gentlemen, around the world. We are a global organization. But let's begin with Beyond Roe v. Wade and the great comment of all of our panelists. We want to thank all of them. But I want to emphasize at this particular time, Senator McClellan, Senator McClellan from Virginia and what she said. Um, and making sure that people know that they need to vote. And, and the last thing that I will say, and I think um, DeMarc alluded to it, the same people who are trying to restrict access to abortion are trying to restrict access to the ballot. I'll say it again. The same people who are trying to restrict access to abortion are trying to restrict access to the ballot. They're connected. LGBTQ rights, connected. Uh, black maternal health, connected. So be vigilant and vote. And you can watch that entire program on our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel. Ladies and gentlemen, Please tune in and be informed. What a great workshop. What a great program the panelists displayed and informed. It was outstanding. Please tune in. Let me just talk briefly about the misrepresentation of our immigrants and the problems that we're having. We know we are having some problems, but you don't treat anyone in a humane situation of direct action of being inhumane and insensitive to the human element of any group of race or people or any ethnicity or background or people. I'm talking about uh, how they're being treated in Texas and in Florida and other border states, but particularly uh, the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, my Lord, Mr. Governor, what's wrong with the fact that you are not respected in terms of others? The respectability that you lack, you're not respecting people for who they are because they come from a different background and culture than yourself. The culture that they are coming from is not like yours. Sir, we're dealing with a global village. It's not like everyone must condone themselves because you are not accepting them because they don't look like you. They don't, they don't come from a background like you. They don't have any money. They are human beings who are trying to survive. And you have been fortunate enough to get around the racist mentality of this government and the racist mentality of the world because people are different from their background of ethnicity, misrepresentation and falsifying to the people of color and different ethnicity or background than yourself in represent, representation of saying you're going to transfer them from your state to some other place that you lied to them on. Ladies and gentlemen, this must be addressed. That's why we are here to tell you like it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I was at Hillside International Truth Center on yesterday, Pastor Bishop Jack Beaumont. Ladies and gentlemen, what a time did we have. And I want to thank the Bishop, Bishop Beaumont for having me as the keynote speaker. And we were talking about many things and courage and how uh, the movement of Dr. King and SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, conveyed itself around the world. And a, a, a very good example that I used was none other than former President Mikhail Gorbachev, who just passed. How he went against his upbringing of communism. See, many of our people in this country really don't know, and the few that really knows won't tell the truth. He went against his fellow countrymen. He was an attorney. He was a lawyer. He went against his upbringing of being trained as a lawyer in a communist 
uh, uh, countries such as Russia and ultimately Soviet Union, which was a threat to not only the United States and its democracy, but also around the world of freedom. But he stood up against the grain of what he thought was wrongfully implemented in his upbringing. And once he became an adult and had the vision of straightening things out to do the right thing, and he was not even considered a Christian, but he stood for the right thing. And I just want to say thank you through his spirit in doing the right thing and knocking down the wall that really divided the world. East Berlin versus West Berlin, Soviet Union versus United States. He had the power and the courage to knock down that wall, the Berlin Wall, because he said God cannot be divided by a wall. His people must unite, and they will unite, because he heard the speech of Dr. King. But this is displaying itself to today. You must have courage to stand up against the opposition. You must have courage to stand up against racism, poverty, and militaristic or control of people in all segments and backgrounds of the global village. This is what I talked about. This was my speech at Hillside International Truth Center. And thank you, Pastor Bowman, and your congregation. I asked him why well, gave him the courage to tell him that wrong. I said, what was it? President Ronald Reagan? He said, no, Steve. Well, Ronald Reagan, I knew he was an actor before he became a president. That's what he cut and he said. Well, Ronald Reagan had no president. He said, Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus and Jesus 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 Jesus